I'm Rodney Richardson, and welcome to this Department of Communication Weather Bulletin for August 21st, 2015. Prime Minister the Honorable Marcel Gums, Chairman of the Emergency Operations Center on Friday morning, addressed the nation on the current state of readiness of key emergency support functions and the closing of schools on Monday, August 24th. Here now is the Prime Minister. Fellow St. Martiners and visitors, the current forecast as of Friday morning has Hurricane Danny passing through our area on Monday. You will be continuously informed over the weekend via radio, the government's website, and government's Facebook page as the situation develops. Heavy rains can be expected with the passing of this weather system, which can lead to street flooding and land slippage and mudslides. Schools are to be closed on Monday, August 24th as a precautionary measure. Business closure will be decided upon over the weekend if this is necessary. We have to review the latest weather reports that come in over the weekend to determine further actions. The various trenches and drains have been cleared to allow the free flow of storm water that could be expected. The pumps are operational and on standby. In connection with low-lying areas around the ponds, the overflow system of the Fresh and Little Bay Pond will be prepared for a fast runoff of excess water. A request for military assistance by local Marines have been requested by the Ministry of General Affairs. The listing of hurricane shelters are the New Testament Baptist Church at the AC Canagita Street in Phillipsburg, the Sister Marie Laurent School, Ellis Drive No. 1 in Mill Region, the St. Martin Academy, Copper Drive at Cool de Sac, the Milton Peters College on the L.B. Scott Road in South Reward, the Rupert I. Maynard Youth Community Center in St. Peter's Road at St. Peter's, the Leonard Connor School on Venus Drive in KB, the Allen C. Hawley Community Center, Simpson Bay Road, number 27 at Simpson Bay, the Salvation Army Building on Union Road, 59 in Cole Bay, the Christian Fellowship Church on Welfare Road, 95 in Cole Bay. Continue to follow the latest reports regarding Hurricane Danny via your local radio stations, the government website, and the government Facebook page, where information will be posted as it becomes available. Take the necessary measure to protect your home and business. Use this time now to review your annual hurricane season kit. Thank you for your attention, and may God bless our nation. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Marcel Gums on Friday met with the préfet of saint Martin and saint Bart's Anne Lebie, and Vice President Guillaume Arnel regarding preparations for Hurricane Danny. The préfet and the Prime Minister briefed each other on preparations that have already taken place for Hurricane Danny. A number of points were agreed upon with respect to the coordination and synchronization of certain activities in times of pre- and post-natural disaster events. After each emergency operations center or disaster committee meeting, the government representatives will exchange decisions that have come out of those meetings. The closure of businesses was also another point to be coordinated between both sides of the island. Closure of airports will also be coordinated, and both sides will also exchange communications that are disseminated to the public with respect to information and actions that need to be taken. The meeting with the prefect was very informative. As one island, there should be some coordination at the disaster management level. And this is what this meeting was about, Prime Minister Marcel Gomes said on Friday. As we continue to track the progress of Hurricane Danny in the Atlantic Ocean, DCOM spoke to the Met Department's forecaster Joel Payer, who gave the 5 p.m. position of the system and advice to the general public with regards to their preparations. Danny was, as of 5, 2 p.m. this afternoon, Danny was upgraded to a major hurricane, which is Category 3 and above. And at 5 p.m., we got another update, which stated that Danny has likely reached its peak ten- 
intensity and will forecast it to weaken from here um, from this point on starting tonight. Uh, so as of 5 p.m., the, lo- the center of Hurricane Danny was located at 14.5 degrees north and 49.1 degrees west, which is approximately 840 miles east southeast of St. Martin. It's moving towards the west northwest at 10 miles per hour. With sustain with a maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. This um, track is Danny is expected to continue on this track for the next couple hours. At which point, it's expected to, to take a more westerly track at the same speed. Joel, are we expecting um, any specific features that we can expect from the storm as it uh, draws closer to say Martin in the next few days? Well, the forecast for Hurricane Danny is that it will continue to weaken over the next 48 hours, which should bring it down to a minimal hurricane or a strong tropical storm. However, since, um, as we all know, Mother Nature is a very dynamic um, a very dynamic thing, we, we're going to continue to monitor the progress of Hurricane Danny as it um, moves on its westerly track towards the islands. Now, as far as the local effects, we're expecting, right now, we're expecting to receive rainfall and some gusty winds, probably tropical storm strength winds um, affecting the island. Since monitoring the storm for the past week, we've realized that the storm, or it's been forecasted that the storm carries with it much moisture. So can we expect a significant amount of um, water or rainfall in our area? Right now, even though it's an intense hurricane, it's a very small hurricane. It's compact. The winds don't extend very far. Um, as, and as far as the rains, we're not entirely certain as to the amount that we will receive, but we're pretty sure that we are going to receive rain starting sometime early, late Sunday night into early Monday morning. Okay, Joel, in, in regard to preparation for the coming storm, any advice to the general public? I would always recommend that you prepare for each storm as if it were coming directly at St. Martin. It's always possible that things can change as far as the conditions and the steering winds that um, control the direction in which the hurricane travels. So with that in mind, you should always prepare the same way and never take, no, never take any situation lightly and assume that based on a um, forecasted track that's going to pass away from us, that things can change. So always prepare the same way. In light of Hurricane Danny making its way to the islands, persons are hereby advised to put together a personal disaster preparedness plan. Disasters, large or small, can happen on a moment's notice. To protect yourself and your family, preparedness is a key factor. Being prepared takes four simple steps. A storm, hurricane, can happen quickly and without warning. Be ready to protect yourself and your family by following these safety steps. 1. Develop a family emergency plan. Emergencies may strike anywhere. Develop a plan at home. However, also learn about plans at your workplace or anywhere else you and your family may spend time. Include a copy of your emergency plan in your emergency kit and ensure it contains in-town and out-of-town contact information. Store the plan in a Ziploc bag to protect it against water damage. 2. Stock up on emergency supplies. Often during an emergency, electricity, heat, air condition, or telephone service may not work. Be prepared to make it on your own for at least three days, or maybe longer. Learn what emergency tools and supplies you should stock up on. 3. Be aware. Closely follow information from the Department of Communication regarding emergency notifications. Also, know what other resources can provide you with up-to-date information during an emergency. Pay attention to the news and know your surroundings. 4. Get involved, be generous, and donate some of your time. Learn what types of programs for volunteers exist within your community. On behalf of the Department of Communication and the Government of St. Martin, I am Rodney Richardson.